Good morning, folks. We've got a couple key items to hit today. We'll be looking at a solar eruption, a solid earthquake in the West Pacific, and a great analysis on Grand Solar Minimum and why the modern one isn't going to be as bad as Maunder. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star and the eruption will be visible bottom left. Incoming sunspots unleashed a long duration blast and CME. NOAA is modeling a solar wind enhancement from a coronal hole coming tomorrow, but what about the CME that erupted yesterday morning? Well, here's a better look at it in 131 angstroms. The flare came from the incoming spots on the south. The after flare arcs indicate the power of the blast. Flare reached M5 level and lasted a few hours. Long one like this always is going to produce a CME, especially when those arcs persist on the ionized helium view, the red one here, 304 angstroms. Now, neither NASA nor NOAA's endless spirals show this one being aimed towards the Earth, and that may be true, but honestly, I don't think we can be sure. SOHO shows the bulk of the eruption heading off to the left and southward, but look at the 12, 1, and 2 o'clock positions above the central blocking disk. It does appear to have an edge of the CME making a halo. Now that could be towards the far side, but it could also mean we are going to take a glancing blow from the event. It's already surging high energy protons towards the Earth. We'll see this week if Earth takes a double impact or if it's just the coronal hole. Meanwhile, we're also watching the sunspots. Bigger ones traversing the disk have remained quiet. New ones incoming on the south already fired at least one big flare. We'll have eyes open. Top seismic event of the last day is here, 6.4 in Papua New Guinea. They handle mid-sixes very well in this area. No major reports of damage from this one. The top science article of the day is this, with a prediction of the next solar cycle, they are suggesting that it is part of the modern minimum of solar activity. Now while some grand minima like Maunder in the 1600s caused the Little Ice Age, others like at the end of the 1800s weren't so bad at all. That's what this one is shaping up to be like rather than Maunder, which would actually be a very good thing agriculturally looking to the years ahead. We greatly appreciate your support watching the solar wind for those impacts this week. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.